welcome to another video if I can ask for your help if you like my video please click like and subscribe I really appreciate it hi good morning from Southern California this morning I want to talk about income inequality actually I heard on the radio today about you know uh, South Africa uh, the situation right now is kind of not good because still even after um, Mandela had be had become um, a president I believe a prime minister and that changed or ended the apartheid however um, the income equality between majority blacks and whites are still very wide actually South Africa right now is uh, is one of the worst uh, nation in terms of income inequality and it was great that they ended apartheid that, that was a huge success however I believe Mandela had failed or should have implemented reform economical economical reform to have a fairly distributed especially land and resources uh, South Africa has a lot of resources in their ground like you know gold that's a huge resource that they have and other minerals Mandela should have implemented land reform so the wise majority uh, and the white minority would not hold vast amount of land you know it's like let's say 80 or 90 percent of the country are owned by whites which is to me that's na national security issue in terms of you know social and people well-being and without implementing those plans through let's say you you acquire land during apartheid or before apartheid okay you, you're white uh, what Manila should have done is the, either in US we call it uh, um, basically the government can tax uh, many countries do can start ta taxing landowners to have land you know let's say like more than you know more than five acres especially land that are not productive or used in agriculture like commercial or just uh, idle vac uh, vacant land they can at least start taxing those and use the tax money to to subsidize other social programs or small business development or investment in education and infrastructure and also they should start I think in the US we call it imminent domain meaning the government should start buying off land from these landlords okay because they acquire them during apartheid which is you know to me it's illegal anyway you know uh, taking advantage of uh, resources so and that will help with in terms of ha having land of course the government once they acquire land they're not gonna just you know sell it off they're gonna have people that lease it or rent it you know especially uh, black folks for like 99 years to, you know to build a house on or uh, to start farming for example you know and uh, initially they're not gonna own or be able to, I mean they can transfer the, the title but still you know the tax will be really minimal but uh, they cannot actually own it outright so that will, that will become the, the government land for you know for housing and agricultural you know for example so I think that's one of the main thing that Mandela did not do so it did not transform the so the so uh, society as a whole because the um, I would say economy called infrastructure or financial structure is still maintained by majority um, minority whites you know which is a minority in the country right and, and that's created a huge income inequality and in US uh, it's the same thing um, resources uh, it can be you know media tele telecommunication uh, industries are owned by very few players so we become 
monopoly controlled society. That's what that's why we you know they start buying up politicians for decades. And that's why the, the government is not working for us. The the police actually, for example, at um, in DC, the last few days at the Venezuela embassy, the police actually start cracking down on peaceful demonstrators and code pink folks that occupy the embassy. So the, the corporates will use the, you know, we use the power of the police or the military to actually control or crack down. It will probably getting, get worse if we, not, we are not dismantle this uh, monopoly, you know, break them, break them up. What U.S. need is more small businesses running, not two or three players controlling media, controlling um, uh, computer technology, medical, medical, you know, healthcare. You get very few, few corporations, probably uh, owned by a few individuals. You know, you know, Koch brothers or you know, Bill Gates or who know what. You know, and they actually dictate. And actually by by elections so they can implement their policy that benefit them so that's what many country becoming owned by a few oligarchy oligarchs giant corporations everywhere and they have so much power that they, they have influenced the government and and the majority of us are getting less less pay less benefits Americans most Americans can only have like $400 saving. So basically living paycheck to paycheck, but the super rich are getting huge. That's they're buying newspaper, they acquire more companies, and you know, and we're not implementing or enforcing antitrust law here. Very well here. So uh, we are facing the same problem, like South Africa, you know, similar problem. Okay, so we need to fix that. So whoever become a next president have to start thinking about dismantle this power structure for monopoly, you know, you know, do it. The sooner we do it, the better, because otherwise we'd be getting corrupted politicians, corrupted government, government that uh, like U.S. government that's continue to overthrow other governments for their resources for oil, for example, like Iraq or we try to get into Venezuela for oil. And you know, we use money to hire opposition people, you know, Guaido supporters and things like that, or, or you know, more, more propaganda to create division among people. And then using corruption, you know, like Maduro is corrupt and all that. He might be a little bit, but you know, he, he, he got elected as a president. He's a legal president, legitimate president versus this Guaido puppet, you know. And I don't know why, they say 55 countries elect, kind of uh, elected him or agree with Guaido to be the next prime minister. I mean, the next president. I mean, it just the international community is just go crazy, go corrupted like a big mafia, you know. Anyway, we need to dismantle uh, monopoly infrastructure in order to actually have good national security in terms of people living peacefully, society. St stabilized income inequality reduced okay the system that will work for 99 percent of the people so if you like my video please subscribe click like i really appreciate it and we'll see you on the next video thank you very much